Rahman Rahim. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Okay, my previous video that I recorded for you that was on keyword research, how to do keyword research, how I do keyword research. If I have to find keywords for any blog post, for any website, for any YouTube video, for any images or any online content, how to do keyword research? Is there any tool? Shall we use a shameless tool or shall we use a Google keyword panel or what is the genuine way the true whitehead SEO strategies? What are and how we can find uh, core keywords, primary keywords and secondary keywords for that? And I recorded a detailed one hour video for that and you guys like the video and I got a very good feedback on that. Okay, so today I'm going to make another video, a practical demonstration on how to do image SEO or what exactly image SEO means and what is the benefit of image SEO. Okay, let's let's just go to an image. Now, right now you can see that says an, this is an image and if you see the name of the image it's untitled now whenever we download any image from google or any website majority you can say 80 percent of the images are without any title you know we have to rename them and now let's do an image issue for this image uh, let's say what should be the title of this image or uh, let's say we rename it as now this is basically the practice that every SEO and content writer do but I'm going to demonstrate you in detail that what is the 100% image SEO strategy. So normally what content writer SEO strategies do is that they rename the image. For example, uh, uh, highway or you can say journey the mountains like that. Let's say beautiful beautiful view beautiful road view let's say that's basically an example so, so I just renamed this image now beautiful road view now you see the untitled word has been replaced with a proper title now the title of this image is basically beautiful road view now this explains to Google board that this image is explaining or this image is all about beautiful road view now this is what all SEO strategies and you can say content writers do but this is not the full image SEO practice what they have to do is before uploading image to the web to the website or before uploading the image to any social site I'm going to tell the exact strategies that what you have to do now what you have to do is when you have renamed the image just click here go to properties go to details now this is the main part see you have to fill these details now see let's see add a title uh, what a beautiful what a beautiful road view now this is what I have given a title to this image now subject again we have to add keywords beautiful beautiful road view mountainous journey now just keep that in mind this is basically an example you know you have to do a proper research on the keyword that what keywords you need to use for this image basically i am implementing the practice i am implementing the strategy to make you people understand that how to do an image SEO strategy and let's say beautiful mountains and etc whatever keyword you want to use you put it here now you have to give a five star rating to this image now ratings plays a very important role now this is a digital world and it's all about ratings and reviews and if image has a five star rating google will be giving more weightage to this image and it will be showing that image uh, in google searches at very good google positions now when it comes to ads tags these are again the keywords let's say we put these keywords beautiful road mountain mountain journeys blah 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 we put it into tags and then comments box we also put keywords here and now the author now if you are upload working for any organization so you're going to write the name of the website or you're going to find your core keyword here for example any company abc let's say uh, 
Samsung, for example. It's just an example, Samsung. I'm working for Samsung, I can write Samsung. This is a core keyword. If I'm working for Apple, I can write Apple here. Or any company. So basically, company name. Yeah, you can add an author name, but I suggest add a company name because, you know, uh, job security is an issue uh, in every country. So authors keep on changing, but obviously the company doesn't go anywhere. Company is there as always. So if you put the company name there, that image will be related to your company. So put your company name there. For example, Android Authority, that is a company name. Android Authority, that is a company name you put there. This is a basic example. So I recommend you put your company name there. And then if you want to add some specific date, because these are the details that Google bots will be uh, expecting from every image. And if you properly implement this, for example, today is 4th November, I put the date here. Program name, don't need to add, only date required, and put that. Let's say, I put this date as well. And copyright again, you put your company name here. Because companies, companies won't be going anywhere, authors and employees keep on changing. So whenever you are implementing any strategy, you need to think for a long-term strategy. See, you put there and now you apply and now you, okay. Now when you go, you hover your mouse here. See, tag, your ratings, title, and when you click here on the properties, now your image is properly readable by Google bots. It's saying the title, the image basically what a beautiful road view. The subject is, I put the keywords. It's a five star rating image. I put keywords and tags. I put comments at keywords and comments. I put the company name. Even I have mentioned the date on which this image was, you know, uh, SEO optimized. And I've also put a copyright. Now, when I'm going to upload this image on any social media site or any social channel or any website, it is 100% SEO optimized and Google and it will take less time to Google to rank this website whereas as compared to any as compared to image which don't have any for example this image which don't had any of these details fields so you need to make sure you need to make sure that whenever you are going to upload any image before uploading that image into your mobile into your laptop or desktop you need to make sure you put a title you put you rename the image we only rename the image and we think we have implemented all the SEO strategy that is wrong after renaming renaming you have to go to the properties and you have to fill these details once these details are filled it will help google bots to understand the image and it will help google bots to easily rank your image on you know good google rankings and in google image searches so this is basically a practice that every content writer SEO strategist and digital marketing strategies should adopt and this is what i am doing from last six years and this is a request of me to everyone who wants to learn digital marketing, SEO, content writing, start optimizing your images because Google images is something which plays an important role, even in conversions, even in online sales and even in digital branding, digital positioning. So I hope you liked the video. That was basically about uh, how to do image SEO. What are the image SEO strategies? How to SEO optimize your images to rank on Google? So I hope you like the video. Please do give me your feedback. And if anyone has any question, any queries, you can ask me anytime, anywhere. Please take very good care of yourself. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Thank you.